Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm wearing a wig right now, it's because I haven't washed my hair in days, so it's gross and oily, and that's why I'm wearing a wig. I'm disgusting like that. Anyway, so the reason I'm making this video today is because, okay, I hauled hard in Emina ages ago. I don't know if you're paying attention to my stories on Instagram, but I did promise swatches, and it's been a few months and I haven't done it. It's really bad. Okay, but I finally did swatches a few days ago and I posted it on Instagram, just a little teaser. And now it's going to be a video where I review all these Amina Cosmetics eyeshadows. I bought every single one of the Pop Rouge trios. I also got one of their Cheek Lit Cream Blush and as well as their Sugar Rush Lip Scrub. So let's get on with the review. First of all, uh, because I have no blush on my face, I'm looking a bit washed out. I'm gonna review this one first. Oh, and if you like my eyes, I'll link the tutorial below. Anyway, let's try out this cheek lip cream blush. So it looks like this cream colored blush at first, but sort of just color changing stuff. When you rub it into your hands, it turns pink. Ooh, the color's not really showing up on camera, but it's pretty pink for me. So I'm going to apply it on my cheeks. Uh, by the way, I'm breaking out, so I'm having heavier coverage than usual. Uh, I hope I don't rub everything off. So I'm going to... It feels really, really light. It's like a very light hand lotion. Ooh, actually, I'm doing a good job dabbing it on with my fingers. So once it comes in contact with your face, it's going to change color. So this may be different on every single skin tone, but on me, it's a very natural peachy flush. Wow, I'm really impressed. I'm doing a good job like dabbing it on with my fingers, but then my eyesight is terrible and I'm a bit zoomed out. So who knows when I'm zoomed in, I may look terrible. So you know what, just to be safe and also partially to show off, I'll even it out with my Gudetama Beauty Blender. Isn't it is so cute? It's so cute. It's really cute. Totally worth buying two of because it's so cute. Look at that. I know. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing this just to justify my purchases to myself. Oh. I actually did do a good job blending it in with my fingers. So, you know, for all of you who are lazy and you just want to have something really quick, this is good. You can apply it with your fingers and it looks pretty good. So finally, I have colors on my cheeks. I don't look so washed out anymore. Okay, this has this kind of like plasticky peach scent, which I'm not a fan of, but you know, it looks good. It looks extremely natural. I look like I have a natural flush on my cheeks. So, you know what, scent aside, I like this. Now, the lip scrub. Oh, it's like a balm thing. Um, Oh, I should totally show it. It looks like a lip balm and there's like fine sugar granules in it. Yeah, I'm using my phone as a mirror. I have really dry lips, so this should tell. Mm. It's very gentle. Mm, actual sugar. The balm has this perfumey taste that I feel like clashes with this because you know when it's it tastes like perfume so I feel like I should spit it out at the same time the sugar is sweet and I want to lick it so it's a weird funky sort of taste maybe they pick the perfumey scent just so that you don't eat the scrub you know saves you on calories okay. I'm just licking the rest of the sugar off my finger's sticky now Okay, so do this next to a sink, your finger's gonna be sticky. But you know, it does its job. It's a sugar scrub. I mean, can't really go wrong with that. And I guess I'll apply my lips even though I kind of like the flush I'm getting right now because my lips are red, but let's apply lips anyway. Um, it's Emina's Cream Matte and Jelly Bean. So let me apply this. Ooh, I love how bright my lips are. Hello, lip. Anyway. So let's get on to what you guys are waiting for, the swatches of all the eyeshadows. So here are the swatches. If you're wondering how I did the swatch, I just applied primer on half my arm so you can see how it performs with that primer and with primer. 
And so I think based on the swatches, you can totally see why I always wear primer. It makes such a huge difference. So yeah, these eyeshadows do need primer to show up. It, with that primer, it tends to fade. And so if you're wondering why these eyeshadows are performing really badly on you, you may need a primer. All the shadows are shimmers, which I guess it's more popular in Asia, but it does limit what kind of looks you can do because they don't have a single matte shade. I personally prefer having a matte shade as a transition shade and a shimmer for that pop of color. So I do wish they have a couple of matte colors, but you can still do full looks with these eyeshadow colors. Right now I'm using the palette purple on my eyes and of course there's a tutorial for that. I also did another look with the colorful palette. I'll slowly be going through all these palettes to create tutorials on all of them. So funny thing, I wrote in my story asking my followers to choose which eyeshadow palette I shall do a tutorial for. And when I posted it, I think that's when America was just going to sleep and most of the request was for the colorful palette. And once America went to sleep, suddenly all the requests was for the romantic and a nude palette. And then America woke up again and suddenly the purple and the colorful palette is the most popular request again. So I don't know whether I have more American followers or it's just American followers are more engaged, but that's why I'm doing the colorful and the purple palettes first. I'll do the romantic and nude colors later and the gelato palette. Uh, I promise I'll do the tutorial soon, eventually. Yeah. So anyway, my quick review of the eyeshadows. Yes, you can't wear them on their own. You do need a primer, otherwise they do get streaky and sheer. But on a primer, you know, it works. They're blendable. Sometimes they do come off as uneven, but as long as you apply them by patting them on, then you'll have no problem with the streakiness. And if you blend them out, they blend out very, very well. So these eyeshadows, they're functional. And for the price, it's pretty good value for money. So each of this eyeshadow trios, they only cost 39,500 rupiah, which is about three to four dollars. It's extremely, extremely worth it. So, you know, it's a cheap palette. I get it. I don't regret buying it because it's just so cheap. They do come in these pretty, pretty boxes, but when you open them, it's just like this. So it's just the boxes that are pretty, which is a bit disappointing because I was hoping this is the case. I, I think it's way prettier, but well, it's a minor thing, you know? So that's it for my Amina haul review. So, quick summary, I like the cheap lip cream blush. Okay, uh, I just got back from lunch. Uh, one thing about these blushes, so they just keep oxidizing throughout the day. And so if you notice, I haven't touched up my blush at all and it's much, much brighter than before. So. My blush ended up looking so bright. I don't know if you can see. I was like, I initially I tried to quickly erase it over here. So it's a bit streaky, but I decided, you know what? Screw it. I'll just wear this way too bright blush and show you guys how ridiculous I look. So yeah, I guess that's one thing to watch out for for this blush. It does keep oxidizing and keep going brighter and brighter. So if I were you, I'd play it safe and avoid going too dark with it. As for the Sugar Rush lip scrub, I'm kind of mad about it because for me, the most important thing for a lip scrub is the taste and I'm not a fan of the taste, but that's just me, you know, I'm, I'm biased. As for the pressed eyeshadow, they're functional and for the price, it's good. So thank you so much for watching the entire review. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you like my eyes, uh, the tutorial is linked right below. Anyway, thank you once again and I'll see you next time. Bye! I also got one of their cheek lip cream brush. I also got one of their cheek lip clean because I was, you know, I was hoping 